Welcome to this Getting Started video about using Macro Render with Lightwave. This video will assist you with the installation of the Macro Render plugin and your first steps in Macro Render. First, download the Maxwell plugin for Lightwave from our download area and run it. The installer will guide you through the installation process. Specify your Lightwave installation folder and the components you want to install. The plugin will attempt to create a new Maxwell Render section in the Lightwave interface with the Maxwell tools. If you have already modified your Lightwave menu layout, then the plugin will not be able to create it automatically, so you will have to create it manually. The Maxwell Render plugin for Lightwave will be installed automatically on your system. You can take a look at the plugin manual that comes with the plugin installation. It is a valuable resource to help you understand how Maxwell Render is integrated into Lightwave. It describes the various plugin options and is useful to solve issues you may come across during the installation and while using the plugin. Download the sample scene provided to follow this training video. Launch Lightwave and load the scene. It is a simple scene with two cups on a table. In the Render tab, the plugin may have installed a new Maxwell section containing the tools and menu you need to launch your scenes to Maxwell Render. As we have mentioned, if you have already modified your Lightwave menu layout, then the plugin will not be able to create this shortcut automatically and you will have to create it manually now. It is quite easy. Open the Edit Menu Layout panel and right-click on the Render tab to import a new branch. Open the Maxwell Menu branch.cfg file that the plugin has pasted in your Lightwave plugins folder. The new Maxwell Render section contains seven buttons. Render exports your scene and opens it automatically in Maxwell to be rendered. The Render Options menu is the main panel to control the Maxwell settings. It also contains several sub-tabs to control the render quality, the image output, the environment settings and the render channels, amongst others. The Maxwell Attributes panel allows you to adjust certain Maxwell-specific attributes related to objects and cameras that are not included in the Lightwave interface. You can set the configuration of each object in the render. Export saves your scene in the MXS format to be opened later in Maxwell Render or to be edited in Studio. Plugin options display the current version of the plugin you are using, offers quick access to the plugin manual and has an auto-update option. Import Camera allows you to import camera settings from other scenes in MXS format. Toggle Sky displays a sky preview in the Lightwave viewport. Enabling it is helpful when you are setting up the physical sky in Maxwell Render. Ok, after this quick tour let's explore the Maxwell Render Options panel, which is the main panel to control Maxwell Rendering. In the Generic tab, you have options to control the render time, the final image quality and your output image file and format. The Sky tab allows you to choose a sky type from Sky Dome or Physical Sky. Enable the Show Sun checkbox if you want direct sunlight in your scene, or disable it if you want overcast daylight. It is possible to save your sky settings and load them into another scene. The Sun tab contains specific parameters to control the sun, like its surface temperature and the planet reflectance. In most situations there is no need to modify the default values. The Location tab allows you to specify a location entering longitude and latitude coordinates. You can also set the month, day and time and Maxwell Render will recreate the lighting conditions of this specific place and time. 
The Image Based Lighting tab allows you to set a high dynamic range image to light your scene. You can use the same image for illumination, background, reflections and refractions, or a different one for each. The Layers tab enables you to decide what sort of illumination and caustic layers you want to get, and the Channels tab allows you to specify the output channels you want Maxwell to export. Finally, the Simulens tab allows you to control certain camera lens effects, like lens diffraction, bokeh, lens scattering and vignetting. OK, for this test, set the render time to 1 minute and choose an output image file, format and path. Also assign a path for the MXI file, which contains all the lighting information that Maxwell Render has obtained during the render process. It will allow you further important adjustments. About the cameras, Maxwell takes some settings from the LightWave cameras, like the resolution, optics, focal distance and diaphragm aperture. Adjust the focal distance to ensure the cups are in focus. As with real cameras, the higher the f-stop value, the smaller the diaphragm and the darker the exposure. But high f-stop values also give a thicker focus area. A high f-stop value like 18 will make all your objects appear in focus. Some other camera parameters have to be edited from the Maxwell camera attributes, just because cameras in LightWave do not include them. In order to set the right exposure, you can choose between Shutter Priority Mode, the Aperture Priority Mode, and the Manual Mode. Select a low shutter speed like 60 or 100 to compensate for the small f-stop aperture we chose in the previous step to get a better focus. ISO 200 is a common film sensitivity for daylight photography. Render the scene. This is the Maxwell Render interface. You can watch your render getting cleaner during the rendering process. The main panels are the Render Options panel, the Edit panel, the Preview window and the Main Render window. The interface is very flexible and customizable. Just drag the panels to their desired locations. You can drag a panel over another to stack them. The console is another important panel where Maxwell Render displays interesting information about the rendering process. The render settings you set in LightWave are all exported to the Render Options panel. The status bar contains information about the rendering process, like current sampling level, time passed and time left. The render will continue until the desired level of quality has been reached or when the set render time is up. There is also a new script panel where you can write scripts to automate rendering tasks. The edit panel allows you to interactively adjust the image exposure by changing the film ISO and shutter speed sliders while rendering or after the render has stopped. Use them to adjust your exposure if you find the render too dark or too bright. These interactive parameters give you full control over your scene. Use the refresh button to display the changes in the main window. These lighting adjustments are possible because while rendering, Maxwell Vendor stores all the lighting information in high dynamic range in the MXI file. When you get the exposure you want, you can save it to any image format.